Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Virgo, you start the week off with the Five of Swords, all right? The Eight of Cups and then the Hierophant. All right, so it looks like there, there's some bad blood in a connection, a relationship, friendship, romantic connection. Just lack of communication because somebody was aggressive and maybe even a bully. They were a bit intimidating. And maybe you need to fight back or you, you did stand up for yourself. You felt like you were being taken advantage of. The advice here is to sharpen your words, you know. Um, the relationship is in jeopardy, you know. Um, so choose your battles wisely. Also, um, some of you just have to accept defeat and learn from it. You know, your best efforts failed, um, either in love or career or something like that. But you just have to learn from it and move on. Because somebody wanted to win and they have this defensive attitude and they just want to be right um, and they have a lot of self-interest it just caused for so much turbulence between the, the maybe even the three of you it could have been more than two people involved in a dispute here so somebody decided to kind of walk away check out here with the eight of cups um, just leave you know become despondent to this maybe even abandon this connection i'm no longer putting energy effort time into taking their power back by walking away this walking away is like you know an act of self-respect okay somebody felt weighed down also um by worrying about this and it's kind of releasing this here they don't want to continue to think about this and devote time to it so somebody is devoting time to maybe spiritual growth looking for answers they're understanding that the cycle of trying to win or get something from someone that doesn't want to give it it's like okay so somebody's best efforts didn't work here therefore it could be you, Virgo. You're walking away and you're just taking your power back. It just didn't work here. Um, to spend any more energy effort time here would be useless. And it would be... Um, yeah, it would just be useless here. So it's like you're moving on. Maybe even getting some guidance, some spiritual counsel, some counselor, therapy. Um, something... You're going to someone who can give you answers in terms of what to do next. Or you're... You're listening to that inner voice, that inner guidance, the right voice in, in terms of what to do next and how you should operate with this person, place or thing or these persons, if it's more than one uh, or this group. Um, you don't know if you want to continue to stay in this group or allow something to stay at the status quo. It's like you want something to change. You want to have some successful completion to maybe a relationship or a project but it looks as if somebody is still on conquest somebody needs to get guidance about what it is they really want for the relationship here they're still out doing whatever it is they want to do um, they have a love for self a love for the things that they want um, they do exactly what they want they are you know untamed here whomever you're you're dealing with um, yeah, this person, uh, you could know that they're talking to other people or their other options or that they're having sex with or they're engaging with. They're online. Something is happening here and it's causing you to um, have some sleepless, restless nights. It's causing you to think over something. It's causing you mental anguish, anxiety. Um, and you just kind of want to put a rest to it here with the world card. So it's like, um, do I continue to put my emotions in, in this or do I check out 
I can't allow this to be the status quo for the rest of my life. So it's like you, you're coming up with a plan here. You don't know where you're going to land or what you're going to do. And you may not be telling in person your true intentions or they, they are not telling you theirs. But it seems as if you have an indication of this person's true intentions of what they're not going to do and what they are doing right now. Um, it seems as if someone has a very, you know, self-interest here. They're concerned about themselves and not about the whole, not about you. Um, and they could have said this to you in so many words and maybe in those direct words or, you know, in so many words, they said this. So it's like you have to figure out what are you doing, Virgo? Are you going to stay in this or, or, or come out of this? This is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you.